Hey, what's up guys? It's Luca here at Studio DMI in Las Vegas with my Mix Lab. And today we're going to talk about reverb on vocal. The vocal reverb always been one of those things where if it's well done, it gives like an expensive and pro quality of the track versus can turn a track to be dated, old, or kind of cheap. So I just want to share with you guys a little bit about my approach uh, to make a very simple and effective um, reverb process. Follow me. We're going to use a song from our good friend Emra, great producer. Worked on this song a few months ago, and I felt it was something very cool to share with everyone. Um, very simple but effective, effective vocal mixing as far as use a reverb. Let's play some music. All right, very nice. So follow me on the session. You see two literally equal layers of the same take, essentially. This is the lead vocal. Uh, just to make it a little clearer, let's change maybe the color a little bit so, so we know one is one is when the other one. All right, so the process at lead vocal, let's play this without um, any reverb, uh, without any processing on that. All night in a better place when the moon is high, I wanna know. Really quick, what I did as far as like the processing, very simple. Uh, shave the, the, the bottom, there will be a rumble that was sitting here on the bottom. In this case, I choose to do a low shelf instead of a low cut. Get rid of a little bit of the lower mid range. We can take a break, go to a lake. So let's check that. Lake, can I make you stay? Cell 1B. Uh, just to sustain the words. Uh, Emra did a little bit of compression through the recording, but I can tell the vocal is still dynamic. In this case, I really like to use the CL1B. When I, I'm looking for like transparent compression. All night in a better place when the moon is high, I wanna know. We can take a break, go to a lake. About 3 4 dB. Sometimes I like to use on parallel as well. In this case, I did full compression. And then the Pensado EQ, it's fantastic on vocal. Uh, check this, especially with the pre-2 active. Check. All night in a better place when the moon is high, I wanna know. We can take a break, go to a lake, and I make you stay, I wanna know. It's so good. We and the, the and pre alone, check it out. With the and we're flying high into the sky. Now, Today we're talking about reverb. I show you this because I want to make sure that you understand where we are coming from as far as like the, the source, the quality of the recording. Now, the, my idea was how I can send reverb uh, with a different tone. And what I did, I, do, I did a duplicate of the, of the track. And the duplicate essentially is this. Well, what you're hearing, it's essentially the duplicate with the pre-fader send reverb. So this means that even without level, I'm, I'm able to send reverb and use Saturn to kind of like create some saturation on the mid-range um, and have the vocal reverb essentially put the reverb on the saturation, not on the clean vocal. So what is the cool part about this, in my opinion, that we can have a very clean uh, vocal take, so let's blend, so very clean vocal All take, night in a better and then place when the moon is kind of distorted reverb, check it out. Moon is high, I wanna know. We can take a break, go to a lake, and I make you stay, I wanna know. Okay, so, and if I want to exaggerate, let's go on a, on a part that is a little louder, let's say, this part of the vocal. Hey, 
let's take the night away. I can make you stay. I wanna know. We can let's take the night away. I can make you. Now the mid range of Saturn, it's literally triggering reverb. So now, again on the Saturn parallel vocal track, I'm sending to a reverb. I did some treatment before reverb. I want to make sure that I don't do any low end and top end. Um, from that point on, I go into Vala and then I do a little bit of sidechain compression on the vocal. So check this. The parallel uh, with Saturn on, it, its job is just to send saturation into the reverb. I'm cutting the bottom and the top before going to the Vala reverb. And then the Vala reverb, I try to give a room that it's kind of like we know pre delay, so I want to have a very like no delay on the attack of the, of the river and just fill the, the, the space. So let's play that. Fine, can we make it right on a stormy night? Let me go all night in a better place when the moon is high. I wanna know. We can take a break, go to a lake, and I make you stay. So I'm a fan of a pre delay on very short. Uh, reverb, but in long reverb like this, I like to imagine that the singer she's in the middle of a room, so and that works. Now, what is the interesting fact to have a second parallel uh, vocal lead just for a reverb that I can also do this type of automation? This automation essentially is the sand level pre fader into the reverb. And I can do a more intimate beginning. Let's say I do the beginning that's literally dry. And like this. All night in a better place when the moon is high. I wanna know. We can take a break, go to a lake, and I make you stay. I wanna know. And we fly in. And then we start to open some river here. Flying high. Okay, so. Go to a lake, and I make you stay. I wanna know. And we're flying high into the sky. And we're flying high to a Even more. Sign. Can we make it right on a stormy night? We... Right, makes sense. So if you do this with the music. And everything takes like a different shape. Again, it's almost like beginning of the song, the singer, she's like in front of the stage telling the, telling the story, goes into the pre-chorus, pre she kind of go back in the middle of the stage and there's more room and more reverb. So that's the idea. Now, the cool things about Saturn, using this creative wave into reverb, we can also do automation into the reverb with saturation. So. Let's, uh, for example, let's try this. this. The first part, again, is almost dry, or actually dry, that goes a little bit reverb, more reverb. What also we can do, we can touch the top band, and then we can open high frequency saturation into the reverb right before the chorus. So now we go this. So it's a very creative way to work with vocal. My name is Luca Pertolesi, and I'm a mixing and mastering your track. Introducing Fix My Mix, where we finish songs from my Mix Lab subscribers. We share plugin presets and tip and tricks to get results like this. <laughs> Subscribe now to watch this course and submit your music to be the next month winner. OnlyMoneySlab.com Now, when we do this now, how we can have the kind of like the vocal combination of reverb and, and dry vocal in certain parts sit good with the music, 
I do a very use a very simple techniques. So I create a bus one for the lead, which is this, high till we see the sign. and one for the background vocal. Right. In this case, there's a vocoder on it, and then I create side chain. The side chain goes into the the synth low and synth high. Doing this way, the the vocal bus will push the level down a little bit of the, the pads. So this. So the low synth, let's just do lead, main lead vocal versus uh, low synth. Imagine there is a fader on the synth that every time there is a word, pull down the level a little bit of the, the pads. That creates a lot of separation. Now, the reverb being routed into the vocal bus, in the vocal bus, that including the lead vocal and the reverb, trigger side chain of the synth, allow us now that the reverb on the vocal is pushing down the, the pads. Let's try with or without side chain. So what's what's happening when it's on the, the the piano is just moving up and down just a couple of dBs based on the level of reverb and, re and the level of the, the the dry lead. So it's very effective when you do multi or multi bassing when you have let's say the sing high, sing low together, both both being side chained by the vocal bass is very very effective. Let's go on um, on the chorus. Let's take out the side chain now. If you notice the guitar notes and the piano, they kind of they're a little bit overwhelming. They go on top of the vocal. Versus if I side chain with a vocal without. So that's a good way to have a very good vocal present uh, on the mix, to have reverb, to have more clarity, more space, uh, without making the, the reverb and the lead vocal super loud. So it's a good way to, to do that. Now that we kind of like look into the treatment of the lead vocal, let's see what's going on on vocoders and the background vocal. Not necessarily on reverb, it's more like the overall treatment of that. So this song has a really cool, um, a cool arrangement and production of the background. So check it out. Emra did great on this one. So my job is not to reinvent something that he did really well. I just want to create some space and separation. Um, so I did a few things. Um, so we have multiple layers assigned to Vox 2, which is my background uh, vocal bus. And uh, on the higher octave, I simply compress. And I recommend to use compression, heavily compress the lower octave of double as a background vocal because usually they tend to have a lot of dip of dynamics. So check this without. Without. Extend the words a little bit better. Um, now let's keep going. So double compression. Shape top and bottom and the capital. Very light parallel. So let's let's see how it sounds if I go full wet. 
So okay. I'm creating a little bit of harmonics and get a little bit more sharpness. Uh, if I bypass entirely, especially when I layer with the with the the other one, that it's very effective. Uh, now. I have a little trick I like to use with uh, the auto panning from Melda with the multi band. It works so well on the higher vocals. So check this on the higher one. Um, favorite plugin uh, from Melda, the Unison. Check it out. The cool things about this is creating voices with modulation and will be detuning but it also is creating side informations very effective it check if i just layer with a lower octave and i just bring a 50 percent wet check it out it's very nice um that's the beginning of my chain a little bit of diamond to open the 15k give a nice air and then uh, the uh, the multiband uh, auto pan. Check it out. So there is a panning happening on the upper mid range, about sixty percent. So it's not fully left and right. It keeps something in the middle. It's adding left and right. So the go go on the left speaker, uh, and then when you blend with the lower octave, this sit in the middle. It's very effective. I had all the two layers, I didn't touch it. Those layers, they're purely harmonized. They're great, so there's no reason to reinvent those. And then we have this like full on vocoder. And this one has a little bit of processing. So check it out. Array. Uh, again, this. It's very good. This plugin is so great. Um, Pro Q, maybe a curve. Pro L, just to squeeze dynamics. Saturn. Just to bring the mid-range, it'll be a front. And Zero Savage, I love that. So check it out. That's by, let me mute the other parts so you get an idea. I'm saying, let me unmute the other part. Play the entire part. Let me bypass the entire chain. Without. So the idea is to see the vocoder kind of like around the lead vocal. Wait. So the, the, the interesting part about this song is very in front, dry intro All night in a better place when the moon is high. and then super wide and big chorus like and the use of reverb is very very limited it's like a few reverb in a strategic way actually one single reverb chain um, that's been used with saturn as far as the the lead vocal and then um little bit of blending of this layer but again it's more about uh placing side chain between buses and vocal reverb that is actually blend into the bus the vocal bus and and works as a key side chain key to to lower the sense so it's an interesting combination of using reverb and vocal to sidechain music um, definitely you don't want to sidechain 
uh, bass, drums, or kick, of course. But if you stay on instrument, they're sitting on a very similar uh, frequency space, uh, which is pads and piano and chords. They are sitting very close to the vocal. That's a good way to create space. So this is more like an extension of um, my kind of like creative approach of vocal mixing without changing the intention of the producer. It's too easy for me to just get in and reinvent entirely the mix. I think my job is more to how I can just uh, enhance the vision of the producer and just be creative at the same time. All right, guys, this is Luca here at Studio DMI in Las Vegas with my mix lab. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.